All right, let's see how you did on this second example. So this is a big deal. Um, I remember watching an episode of Consumer Reports, or I think it was a 2020 or something, where they had this investigation. They were wondering about name brand chicken and store brand chicken and the uh, contamination rate. You know, is it worth paying more for a name brand, uh, not only, you know, if you think it's a better quality, I don't, that's not the issue. We're wondering um, the rate of uh, a bacterial infection or uh, contamination. Okay, so here we go. So I put P with a little J, and that's the proportion of all such Jenny O chicken packages with the Campylobacter contamination. And we're going to be comparing that to, I put P with a little S. That is the proportion of all such store brand chicken packages with the Campylobacter contamination. So see, we'll take two samples and we compare those. All right, so our hypothesis statement, the null hypothesis, of course, that they have the same rate of contaminations. Okay, so it wouldn't matter which one you bought. Your safety is the same with either one. But the alternative, because they were wondering this, if, you know, is it when you buy a more expensive product, is a being safer one of the benefits you're getting in addition to the taste, of, you know, whatever. We're not debating that right now. So proportion of Genio would have less contamination than the proportion of the store brand chicken packages that have the contamination. All right. So then... Here we go. I gave you the Z-score. So at this point, I'm thinking already that's not a huge Z-score, just one and a half. Remember, two is kind of our, our, whoa, we're getting worried line. Remember, think about where our sample is. So we norm CDF below that Z-score, and we get a p-value of 0 0.0662. So there's 6.62% chance we would have gotten that sample or something more extreme. But we are now going to compare that to alpha. Let me think. Did they give us a different significance level? Did they use that, tell us an alpha or tell us a significance level? No. So we're going to use 0 0.05. All right, that's our default. So it's greater. So what happens if it is greater than, it is not low, then we do not reject HO. And so then let's talk about that. If we do, if we have HO and HA, now we are not rejecting HO. So I put a dotted line or dotted circle around this. I put dotted because I do not have the right to say HO is true. No, you cannot say that. We cannot say OJ Simpson is innocent. I just did not have enough evidence to say HA. So I do not have evidence to say HA, and that's what I write. There is not evidence that the proportion of Genio chicken that is contaminated is less than the store brand chicken that is contaminated. Okay, so there is that hypothesis test and its conclusion. Now let's take a look at how errors play into this. So remember, type 1 error, HO is true. So they have the same contamination rate. But we think Genio is better, significantly less contamination. So HO is true, they have the same, but we think Genio has less. All right, so what happens with that? Well, then people start buying Genio chicken instead. Genio likes that because they think it's safer. And so they, they buy Genio and it's not really making a difference, okay? So people are wasting their money instead of being able to go with the less expensive store brand chicken. All right, type two. All right, so type two, HA is true. HA is true, HA is true. So that means Genio is safer. So Genio is safer, but we did not detect that. We think they're, they're the same. Genio chicken is safer, but we did not detect it, and we think they are this equally as safe. Okay, so what could happen with that? We go on buying, what if we, we purchase the cheaper store brand, and we actually then have a higher risk of getting contaminated chicken, okay, um, than if we had paid maybe a little more for the Genio chicken, okay? 
All right, so that is the conclusions to those, and I didn't ask you which one is um, uh, worse or different, that kind of thing. All right, so I hope that you understand the type, the hypothesis testing for two proportions, more common than just one, and um, then also see that there are still types of errors that can happen and consequences because of those errors as well. All right, so good luck to you on your assignment tomorrow.